In this sum, length is 117. If you see, observe it is seen from this side. This is 65. Then if you see, they have given 42. So if you, if you notice, 15 is overlapping. So we need to do 65 minus 15 plus 42 plus 25. So length will be 117. Height would be 32 plus 15. So that would be 47. And width is 50. So in this case, when you see from the front, you will see rectangle. When you see from the top, you will see circle. So first we will start with circle. So that means we will draw top view. First you will draw axis line. You go inside by 25, go down by 25 and you can draw circle of radius 25. Then they have given diameter 24. So radius would be how much? 12. So you take 12 from here and we'll draw a circle. After that, they have given 42. So you take 42 from here and you draw a dark line. So you take 42 from here and draw a straight line. Same way. Now, if you see the main diagram, when you see from the top, this edge you won't be able to see, the, the edge which is going through and through, so that would be dotted. You can see this slope, so that will be rectangle and these two circles. So what we will do, first we will take 15 from here and we will draw a dotted line. We will take center point and we will take how much? Up and down? 4, 4 because it is 8. We will draw a horizontal line from here as well as from here. We will draw this boundary dark. Now we need to draw circle. So they have given 25 and 10 inside. If you see the main diagram, see what they have given? They have given 25 and then they have given 10 inside. So we will take 25 from here and we will go inside by 10. And we will draw circle of diameter 14. So radius would be 7. So we are done with top view. Now we need to draw front view. If we see the main diagram, in front view, see this part, it will appear as a rectangle, and this part will be triangle. And this circle is going through and through in this part as well as this part. So first we will draw L shape, we will project from here. This is given, from here I can take this up, height is 32. Draw horizontal and you can join this. Same way, this side you can extend. Extend this to here. Now we need to draw hidden part. When you see from the front, see the main diagram. This circle is going through and through. This circle is going through this plate and this plate. So what we will do, we will project this circle. Same way here also we will project. So see this. This part will be dotted. This part will be dotted. This. This. We can draw axis line. Now see, over here there won't be any dotted line. Why? Because there is no material. If you see the main diagram, there is no material, there is a cavity. So over here there won't be any dotted line. Now, we will draw the other dotted line. Same, we will draw axis line for it. And we will draw dotted line. So we are done with front view also. Now we will see side view. Now for side view, if you see the main diagram, see there is a rectangle, then one more slope which will appear as a rectangle, these two rectangles, the rest everything would be dotted. So what we will do, first we will draw these rectangles. Then, we 
middle. It's an inclined rib, which will appear as a rectangle over here. Now we need to project all the other details. Right? From front view, we can project from here. So this circular part will appear as a dotted line. And this part will coincide with this. After that, we will see about the inner circle. See this circle, which is radius 12. That we can project at 45 degrees. We can project from here. So when we project, we get this. Remember, over here also, we will be getting till here and then here. After that, we will project these two circles. So for that, first we will project the axis line and dot it. Now in this sum, they want us to draw a sectional front view. If you see the main diagram, they have given cutting plane CD, which is cutting it like this. So what we will do in this sum, we will remove this portion. So it will be like this. So see in this case, this portion will get hatched, this portion will get hatched, this two portion will get hatched, again this will get hatched and this won't get hatched. Why? Because we are cutting this rib along the length, we are removing the major portion area so we won't be hatching this. So what we will do in front view, we will draw this line dark, this line dark. First we will draw cutting plane line CD, these two lines will be dark, these two lines will be dark. Now. In this case, when you cut from here, this circular part is behind. So we are not cutting that portion. So we won't be drawing this dotted line. We will draw only center line to show that there is a circular portion which is behind. We will hatch this part. This part. And over here, there won't be any hatching. Why? Because we have cut this rib along the length, so there won't be any hatching over here. So we are done with sectional front view. Now, for sectional side view, if you see the cutting plane, they have given PQ. So what we will draw? We will draw PQ in front view like this. So we need to remove this much portion. So if you see, this much is getting cut. See this part, this part will get hatched, this part will get hatched, and this part will get hatched. Now why we are cutting this rib? Why we are showing hatching in this rib? Because it is getting cut perpendicular. See the main object over there. In this, we are cutting this part, we are cutting this circle, so it will be exposed. Then we are cutting this rib perpendicular. We are removing minor portion here, so we need to hatch that. So that is what we have done over here. So what we will do, in side view, we will project from front view. First we remove all the unnecessary dotted line, like those dotted line which are behind. So this we need to remove, this we need to remove, plus 
this and this as well. Now after that, if you see inside you, in front of you, you project from here. Wherever you cut, that is dark. These two will become dark. These two will become dark. And we'll show matching. Sure. 